And he turned up as a gypsy, and that was it. And he wanted to go on the road with caravans and do circus things, and that was a great idea, actually. Once he'd left Sue, and he was in, with Katie, his, his whole lifestyle changed, and he became a sort of gypsy, and he's, he, he was doing something else anyway, and he was writing for that, and, and his attentions were more there. He was really enjoying that more than he was probably the faces, really. And we just smoked and turned the sounds up. I can't believe we still have neighbours because the windows were always open, you know. But they make it very clear they've got no room for rain. Being with them all in that house, watching their music evolve and, and watching it just spark into life all the time, you know, every single night. Occasionally there'd be sparks between them that weren't creative or fun spots. Yeah. Marriott was an exceptional singer, I think. He was a bloody good songwriter too. But the combination of Ronnie Lane and him writing songs together was was the key. <laughs> Ronnie and Steve were such prolific songwriters and they used to write kind of together but often Steve would walk in here and go, here, listen to this, and he'd play something and Ronnie would go, oh, I got a bit of a go with that. And oh, you know. They had that kind of balance, that Lennon-McCartney balance for the stuff that they were doing. Created this perfect pop formula, you know, where there was the right balance of wit, expertise, craftsmanship, light-heartedness, seriousness, darkness you know, perfect pop songs of the day. In a time when so many people were taking themselves and the 60s so seriously, they were a breath of fresh air. They really were. Beloved Barber sends his love to you. He is always with you, in you, and near you. And he says, be happy and not to worry. Pete Townsend started sending us things in the mail every week about Meher Barber. And he seemed like a decent kind of guy. And I liked what he said. It hit us very strongly that this was what we had been searching for. This made sense. This was the truth. Oh, well, once I was a bullfrog, had to struggle or survive. And once I was a car, can't lift in water to ornamental. And once I was a man, a bird crawling verses from the Bible. Say, pretty boy. You know, we were both also part of the barber community. There were some great people in it. Mike McKinney, who went on to do the Tommy cover, his wife Katie, who Ronnie went on to marry. But it was away from the mainstream of what was going on in the West End. It was away from, you know, the Maharishi. It was away from the LSD. It was much more gentle, much more right-sized. It was a different world.